a.m. and I'd like to call the April board meeting to order. As we begin our meeting today, please be aware that the meeting is broadcast uh, via the internet. So at any point, any, any of us, including some of you in the audience, may be visible to anyone watching online. Also, as a reminder, please silence your cell phones and computers. Uh, please excuse the absences of uh, the absences of Donna Williams and Ricky Raven uh, due to duties requiring their attention elsewhere. Do I have a motion to approve this these absences? Motion, motion by Mr. Steen. Second, Second by uh, Mr. Wilson. All in favor? Uh, uh, motion passes. Uh, please record in the minutes that we have a quorum. Um, it is. A privilege for me to present the next item on our. This is this is very important. So thank you for your uh, time today. Thank you. Let's see. Um, our next uh, uh, agenda item is recognition of excellence, um, which showcases models of excellence within the educational com community and highlights the outstanding work of our education faculty and administrators around the state. The Presidential Awards for Excellence in Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Mentoring Program is administered by the National Science Foundation on behalf of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. The program recognizes the critical roles mentors play outside the classroom in the development of the future STEM workforce and is the highest honor bestowed upon mentors who work to expand STEM talent. Colleagues and administrators and, and, and students nominate individuals and organizations for exemplary mentoring that's sustained over five year, at least five years. Each awardee receives $10,000 and a presidential citation at the White House ceremony, among other recognition events held in Washington. Nationwide, 27 individuals were named awardees in 2018, the following four from Texas. Uh, Dr. Dan Dimitriou, uh, professor and engineering, uh, uh, an engineering program coordinator at San Antonio College, Dr. Tanya Karp, uh, associate professor of electrical and computer engineering at Texas Tech University, uh, Dr. Jorge Lopez, uh, shoemaker professor of the physics department at the University of Texas at El Paso, and Mr. Joshua Villalobos, uh, dean of instructional programs and campus design. Camp Campus Dean of Mission del, uh, Mission del Paso Campus at El Paso Community College. Um, anyway, thank you for, for being here today, and, and uh, that's quite an honor, and I guess you actually went to the White House? I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass up that opportunity. I've been, and it's a pretty, pretty cool place, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for being here. Um, I want to thank you for um, the uh, opportunity of being here. Um, it is really nice to see how the sausage is done <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is a, a, a learning experience to tell you the truth um, you know I've been in academia for so many years but I never uh, imagined that uh, you would be here doing all of this I recommend that uh, you uh, think about uh, moving these sessions from uh, campus to campus so that uh, you can inform uh, the rest of us uh, about that a anyway um, in uh, last year was a wonderful year for me. I got inducted into uh, the Academy of Excellence at Texas A&M, my PhD institution, and I got uh, the award at uh, the White House, but I also got another award by the um, journal um, Nature. And uh, because of that, my university put up uh, a little video. So. <coughs> My role as a professor is to teach, to do research, supervise students, and do some academic work. At present, I'm uh, teaching um, astronomy for uh, non-science majors, and I'm teaching uh, phys general physics for health science and pre-med uh, students. It's an honor for me to be considered for the, uh, the presidential award uh, given by the White House last uh, June, just like it is for me to receive the, the award from Nature. Mentoring is a very important part of our job, except that mentoring is not uh, so easily quantified as, uh, for instance, the impact of a, of a publication. We, when you publish something, you get citations and you can tell that the work was important. But when you supervise students, 
um, you never know, except that uh, they tell you about what they have done with their lives after they leave, but uh, there is no actual number that can give you a ranking of how good you are with respect to mentoring. And of course, this award is giving me the chance to close the cycle and say, yep, my students are doing great. What we get out of this is uh, a lot of recognition for the students when they get accepted to um, a good school, when they get a scholarship, when they get a, then when they co-author a paper. For me, it is like having local students participating uh, at a national scale, at the frontier of science. And this is a, equivalent for somebody that is not in the area. This is equivalent to uh, having our teams, uh, sports teams participating, ma making it all the way to the finals on something, you know, to the Super Bowl or to one of the bowls or like uh, in 65, 66 that we won the NCAA championship. Uh, well, it is exactly the same feeling that my students are there mm -hmm. at the border. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's great. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, congratulations to all of y'all on the award. That's outstanding. Continue the great work on the mentorship. That's very important. Uh, Dr. Lopez, I just wanted to mention to you, I um, I took astronomy here at UT Austin as an undergrad. It's not easy. A lot of my classmates <laughs> thought it was like looking at the stars. It's a lot of math, a lot of calculations. <laughs> I, I do remember that as, as a freshman at UT Austin. But I have a minor in physics, and so I was curious um, in optics and light and all those things. But the, um, the comment that Dr. Peebles made on the programs about physics, like I had to take it for professional school prerequisite uh, for physics. And uh, so what do you think, like right now in the physics programs, Dr. Peebles and the committee had said that, you know, people, the reason we have a lot of physics programs right now in the state are because a lot of the requirements are prerequisites to pre-professional, right, schools. Do you, what do you see physics uh, students uh, graduating, and do you see a lot of physics students that are in there for the degree in physics for at UTEP? Um, uh, I wish I could go off the record on this. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, you're not off the record. <laughs> but I know that it's Don't say anything tape, you don't so want on the record. <laughs> I, better watch, I better watch my words. <laughs> um, in uh, 2009 was a devastating year for physics because many programs were closer across the state because they were producing less than five graduates a year. And we were close, yeah, but uh, we, we survived. And uh, they were closing programs, but not departments because uh, the physics, physics departments are service departments. We serve uh, like, for instance, uh, astronomy is for mostly for liberal arts students. So we, we, we were not in danger of losing our jobs. But um, the fact is that um, at, at the undergraduate level, the role of a physicist is uh, extremely limited in the sense that you will not be a physicist if you have a, a BS in physics. If you want to be a physicist, you have to have a PhD because physics is research and nothing more. So, and there are only three places of employment for, uh, for a physicist, that is a national lab, a private lab, or a university. And that's it, no more. If you, if you get a degree in physics at the undergraduate level and you go into anything else, you're not gonna be a physicist, you're gonna be something else. So uh, it is hard to quantify the, what, what a, a, a BS in physics um, can do because they can end up being, in all sorts of uh, jobs that require uh, higher uh, mathematical skills, like for instance, um, in um, insurance companies, in uh, banking, in engineering, many go into, um, they practi practically take the role of engineers. And uh, we serve, being on the corner of Texas, we serve uh, a lot of uh, different uh, companies and uh, also the military that are not in the state. We send a lot of, uh, of our graduates to Arizona for Raytheon, for instance, or Intel uh, in uh, Phoenix, but also White Sands in New Mexico and so forth, so on and so forth. So it is, uh, to answer your question, it is um, the job market is uh, plentiful for people graduating with uh, BS in physics, except that uh, they, don't do physics, they do other things. Mm -hmm. I was watching over this. Okay. Okay. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Dean. 
So Dr. Lopez, so I, I, I recently saw a documentary uh, where the people that got together and produced the first f photograph of a black hole. Oh, yes. And um, a lot of young people were involved in that. It seems like a, it se seemed like such an exciting thing to be involved in. And I, I just think uh, in terms of getting students interested in physics and astronomy, it'd be a great recruiting uh, tool, uh, you know, to, to, to ask them to watch that documentary, to see, to see how exciting it can be to be in your field. It is indeed. And uh, it would be more interesting for me if uh, the focus would be placed on the um, large uh, uh, st structure, the large scale of the enterprise, because seven observatories were involved throughout the world, and they were taking pictures, pictures of the same object at the same time and merging them together. And that is uh, where all the creativity comes into, into, into the game. Um, hiring, you know, uh, we the 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 paper that pow that uh, announced those findings uh, had uh, over 200 authors. Of course, you're going to find senior researchers, middle career researchers, and young fellows doing that. Uh, I l the the focus on young uh, researchers is fine because we need to entice the new generation to come on board, but at the same time. Um, Politicians need to understand that this is a major enterprise. It's an international enterprise that needs to be funded. So science, like the, this type of projects, need to uh, have the attention of uh, everybody, not only the younger generations. Well, speaking of younger generation, Dr. I can't do it all myself. Okay, thank you all for being here. Congratulations again for uh, the, 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 your fine work and your, and your awards.